Hi everyone, it's Bill from Old Format here. Um, so today I'm going to do something a little different. I decided I'm going to do a uh, Beatles update collection. Now, um, what happened was I went looking at my channel and it occurred to me that my Beatles collection was from 11 years ago and I'm only showing like four or five CDs, four or five records. So I'm going to make this video be an update and show you all the things that I picked up since. If you want to know what I had before, uh, please go to the uh, video. It's only 30 seconds, so it's not a very long video. Um, also, really quick, two short things you might have also noticed. I'm showing Rat out of the cellar. Well, Tawny Catan passed away at 59. So, uh, this is kind of like my little uh, tribute here to uh, Tawny Catan. Also, I just wanted to do this particular angle because this is my newest turntable. It's the Fluence RT80 turntable. I just picked it up maybe three weeks ago. And I'm replacing this. It's the uh, Nextech Lab 1100. This is one of those uh, entry-level $100 turntables. Had it for 14 years. I bought it in 2007. I owned it for 14 years, and it was a decent turntable. But recently, I started purchasing newer vinyl, like 90s, 2000s, and a lot of times it would just skip randomly. And it was no nothing to do with damage. It was just um, skipping randomly. Uh, no rhyme or reason to it. So I was like, you know what? It's 14 years old, and I don't normally replace things that quickly, but, you know, if it's going to keep skipping, may as well upgrade. And this is more my speed anyway. Um, it reminds me a lot of my dad's Kenwood turntable from back in the day. You know, it's got the counterweight and the anti-skate and all that, so... Anyways, I'll just put set this thing aside, and we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you all of the albums that I managed to pick up in the past 11 years. Uh, the first off is with the Beatles. Notice it says Beatlemania. Um, it was made in Canada. It was made by Capitol Records of Canada. Um, not a lot to say about it, except that it's basically... Um, it basically is with the Beatles. It's just a different title. So I'm going to stop there before I say something silly. I actually did a take earlier where I just got really tongue-tied and I was like, yeah, I should probably film this again. Next up, the United Artists version of A Hard Day's Night. I have the... Uh, British album version on CD. This is the uh, American soundtrack version with a slightly different uh, track listing. Which one? What song is it that? Oh, I, I don't know. But I do know that there's a different track listing here compared to the British album. This next one, don't get mad. I didn't do it. Neither did the guy that gave it to me. But the Beatles, the White Album, yeah. Somebody graffitied all over the White Album. Don't know who it was. Jeez, feet. Jeez. Talk about a butcher cover. Yeah. The first time I saw this, I thought I was looking at a bootleg. And then I took a closer look. And it occurred to me that, oh no, it's the White Album. It says the Beatles. Not that you can see it, but it's on there somewhere. Um, but yeah. Um, given to me by a friend, like, uh, ten years ago, nine or ten years ago, and, um, uh, yeah, I really, I'm really happy with this copy, even though it's all markered and everything, um, uh, because they're hard to come by. Yeah, you could buy a brand new one at the store for, like, and that's the thing. They're like 70, 80 bucks. You know, I love the Beatles. I love the White Album. But I, come on, I can't spend 80 bucks. 
can't do it. So next up, we have the Beatles again, aka Hey Jude. Um, I forget why it had the two titles. I think it was because it was one in one country, one in the other. I may be wrong. Uh, but anyways, not a lot to say. It was just a later a later compilation that came out in, I think, 1970. Uh, you can read the track listing. There's the track listing. Just in case you were, you know, you know maybe you never saw it before. I don't know. Uh, now we're getting into the solo stuff. Paul McCartney solo album from 1970. Not a lot to say about it. Great album. Um, but again, I got uh, quite a few to go through here, so I'm not going to say too much. Speaking of Paul McCartney, another McCartney, Ram. I spun this not too long ago. Actually, last week I was playing it. You know. And uh, good album. More McCartney. Almost done the McCartney. Venus and Mars. I love uh, Venus and Mars. I just love uh, the openers. Venus and Mars and Rock Show. I've heard them back to back on the radio as a twofer. Which it should be, really. I mean, Venus and Mars is only, what, a minute and a half long? Um, a lot of good stuff on here. Looks like my last... Yeah, my last Wings. My last... Uh, the one that I purchased since the last video, I have Greatest and Band on the Run, and those were in the original video. Um, Let Them In, Silly Love Songs, cool stuff. May have to play that again later. We go from Paul to John. We have Imagine. I almost called it Mind Games. It's the picture on the back looks like Mind Games to me. Uh, but yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it should be a pretty clean cover. Well, it might be. Yeah, it, it's a pretty clean copy, I would say. And finally, Ringo. And the self-titled album. With a uh, photograph, you're 16. Oh, my, my is good. Well, the whole thing is good. But So that's the albums that I, that I purchased. I'm going to do CDs now. And I'm going to start with the... Um, I'm going to need two hands for this. I'm going to start with the remaster CDs that I purchased. You might remember, if you are a Beatles fan, you might remember that they released the entire catalog on September 9th, 2009, or 999 as we called it, with the Beatles. For sale. Revolver. Sergeant Pepper, Magical Mystery Tour, a much better copy of the White Album on CD, Yellow Submarine, Let It Be. And diving back into... Oh, you know what? I'm going to show this one first. A CD copy of uh, Beatles Again slash Hey Jude. And because we're diving back into the uh, solo territory, McCartney Wings on CD. Two-disc uh, remaster. And those are my newer releases. Now I'm going to kick it old school with... Uh, original CDs, because those are all like brand new remasters. These are like old school CDs. Lennon Legend by John Lennon. All the Best, Paul McCartney. 
George Harrison, the best of George Harrison. Cloud nine. Photograph the very best of Ringo Starr. Beatles Abbey Road, the old school Abbey Road from 87. I didn't get the remaster of Abbey Road. I might. The early tapes of the Beatles with Tony Sheridan. I think it's, this is from 85. The old school version of Past Masters 1. Old school version, Past Masters 2. And we got just a few more here. My last CD, Beatles 1. The old school version of Beatles 1 because this was like remastered the same as those other ones later as well. Put those over here. And last but not least, just really quick, some 45s. Instant car, am I gonna get you? That's Lennon. And then the Beatles. Let it be. The Beatles. Long and Winding Road. And two more. George Harrison, My Sweet Lord. And George Harrison, What is Life? So folks, that's my update. And thank you very much for watching. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here. See you next time.